welcome the PS2 and not just what you're used to. Here we have free McBoot. I'm not going to talk much and just uh, get straight to the point. Uh, browser and system configuration is what you get normally. Additionally, you get the free McBoot version and this doesn't change. Nothing changes in the browser or in the system configuration. Uh, launch ELF is basically like EXE from Windows except for PS2 it's ELF. Uh, open PS2 will go let you play without the DVD. Uh, you can play from the uh, f flash drive, USB, pen drive, the same thing. Or external, I use the external. Uh, launch disk is just a normal thing from browser except from here, you no longer need to go to the browser. Uh, graphical synthesizer mode is something I don't need, it just changes the graphics a little bit. Uh, you can ultimately do the same thing in Free My Boot Configurator. Refresh menu screen is uh, something I created but doesn't work yet. Uh, restart system is basically uh, both of these power buttons, restart and shutdown. You can now do them by software from the PS2 uh, with the controller itself. No longer you need to use the physical hardware buttons. Uh, you can do it by software. Um, and I think it's a good idea if we just go straight to the OPL Open PS2 Holder and just see some of the games. I might actually play the PS1 games instead of the PS2 games. Uh, the reason I'm talking quick is because I mean quick is because I've already failed this video uh, multiple times. So much testing went. But anyway. Here we have Fahrenheit, something I've been planning for a very long time. Uh, this is Linux, although misnamed. It works, uh, network for the European PAL version. This is for the US NTSC one. First one of FreePass. I got this uh, because I wanted to see what the Invisible was about. PS2 Linux, I got it working. Even the burning disk, I managed to burn a disk that actually works for the PS2 tricking the PS2 into thinking it's a DVD video, but it actually works. PS2 Linux Live, uh, NTSC, second sight, don't like it too much to be honest, Simpsons hit and run, I guess it's fun but it's too much like GTA, I don't really like it. Spider-Man, uh, yeah, I like it, Tekken 5 of course, Tony Hawk for Skater is probably the most fun game I've ever played on the PS2, although very hard compared to the PS PC version. True Crime, I don't really like it, and Worms 3D is okay. I can put as many games as I want. Uh, I've only used about 40 gig and um, that's for the PS1 games. Here we have Diablo. Driver unfortunately does work. Harry Potter Philosopher's Stone does work. I'm a big Harry Potter fan. Uh, Hogs of War is too hard for me. Metal War Underground. Wow, that is a great game. Music 2000 uh, doesn't unfortunately work. I'll get it working. Spyro 2, Gateway to Glimmer, oh my god, yes, this of course as well, uh, the trilogy of the Spyro is all amazing, Urban Chaos is uh, overwhelming as well, it's nice, uh, we're gonna play, I guess, should we play Spyro 3, uh, between, I, I don't know, I either wanna play Spyro 2 or 3 or 1, I never play Spyro 1 and I think it's, uh, Anyway, I'm just thinking, guys, uh, we can have apps. Actually, let's show a little bit of the, what you can do here. So, uh, you can do menu, you can do settings, you can choose uh, auto, automatic manual, or what else was there? Off, okay, auto. You can do hard disk drive, ETH, ether, Ethernet, internet, basically. Applications when you display mode. I don't want to. I'm not going to uh, enable these two because they they would they would crash the PS2. Default menu USB games. I am pretty sure I did PS1 as the as the default one because for some reason I uh, get a better feeling from the. Oh uh, yeah, MC1 means two and MC0 means slot one. MC0 means slot one. MC. Oh my god, anyway, uh, I get it, but I can't explain it. Display theme, yeah, I changed the colors, video mode, oh wow, this is that, wow, I didn't even know you can, holy, wow. Okay, so we're gonna do, 
Hmm. What if I do? Okay, first of all, automa Okay, automatic. I get it. Automatic is the best audio settings. I was thinking, uh, parental. I don't think I need this. I think it's just for safety. Network, Ethernet, uh, Link mode. Yeah, you, you do get a network thing, but I don't have the hard drive official PS2 one uh, with the Ethernet attached to it. NetBIOS. Uh, I wonder what the what this is all based on. On which system? Network update. Or existing records. Interesting. About this is just the the developers. If you want to see, I don't really. Uh, care to be honest uh, save changes I mean thank you uh, to the ones who created it but uh, yeah exit the browser I mean yes why not let's just show the potential We're, we might be playing a game later on actually we will play a game anyway uh, we're now going back to the OSD SI SO actually is the browser itself um, memory card uh, I don't think anyone really cares I mean, people do, but uh, okay. System configuration uh, is the same. Launch ELF. It's just uh, actually it's quite interesting. Let me show you. It's basically a file explorer or folder system, as well as the file system for the uh, for the PS2. Select. You can do configure about ULE. Uh, the cross and circle are switched over at this uh, oh there's a github link as well here they keep updating this all the time all the freaking time anyway uh, file browser there's always something new to create on the ps2 there is never actually let me show you what the file system looks like on the memory card because you can literally copy all this information uh, and put it on your USB and then from the USB put the information back on the memory card and it works like magic if you know how to do it uh, so here we, here we have the folders B as okay, the data looks like like this it's just the history of uh, your user choices from things like uh, the browser and system configuration and birth I think this was a the develop the development of something that I did. Uh, Tekken four. I see. Oh, this was a was the oh yeah that was a driver free uh, replay. NHL. I see. Uh, I some of these I don't even know what they are. They don't exactly have a profile name, and you can't. Uh, the the way you can tell what games are what is by the. S E L S and the numbers uh, after that. That's how you can tell which game is which. Uh, there's nothing here because I don't have the hard disk. I don't really know what this thing is. Uh, mass is the anything to do with from the USB port. It can be either the external hard drive, uh, keyboard, or devices, or external, or I mean USB. Flash drive, pen drive, all the same thing. Anything in the USB any, uh, port. CD. Here we have the. This is just the. This would be the PS2 CDs. By the way, not PS1. The PS1 games are all here. Uh, all the saves are this time saved on the memory card. You can see this is dot one. So that will be uh, actually actually uh, actually this is one. This is the. I I don't know why they re uh, put zero as one and one as two, but that's how it works. Anyway, House of War, we have the ELF file here, it doesn't work, it's just, uh, you can't exactly launch it, it's something for the PS2 itself, not something the uh, user can uh, read or, um, how do you say, e execute and to uh, show it on the screen. Uh, anyway, here we have the games, you can see all of these games have a specific code, um, Spiral, the original for example is SCES. 014.38 it's the pal uh, all most of these are actually pal for the ps1 games as well as for some of the ps2 i actually like the pal more than the ntsc it's not like everyone praises the 
and DSC, right? Everybody prefers the American for some reason. Uh, I might, it might not be for from the truth. Um, this is uh, the UL. Oh yeah, this is the because of the FAT thirty two file system on the PS two. A lot of these games are actually uh, you have to split them into individual files and parts. It's like splitting uh, archives like zip seven Z or R. And it's the same for PS2 because of the FAT32 version. You can't go more than 4 gigabytes, so you have to split the files, but it works. Killer ELF, this is a. Uh, oh, yeah, that's that. That's the Linux host. I don't really know if this is something to do with the Ethernet or the servers. Misc oh, yeah, this is the most interesting. Here you can actually boot into other things that the. PS2 normally doesn't have without the soft modded memory card browser. You know this is PS2 disk goes to the disk. PS2 net is freaking interesting. It does have an IP right there. Uh, okay, file browser miscellaneous power off of course power zero uh, HDD manager information read uh, connected formatted or unformatted. You can create partitions, remove your name, expand format, etc. I didn't actually try the partitions yet, but it might be freaking interesting. Now then, uh, let's go back to the miscellaneous. HD man HD hard disk drive manager, task editor. Uh, you can actually plug in your keyboard and write. You don't actually have to uh, uh, use the, well, Windows. Okay, oh, it's not Windows as, as in Windows. It's Windows as in actual Windows, not operating system. Yes, you can actually plug in your mouse and uh, keyboard to the PS2 if you use the right tools, as well, such as Launch ELF or Ya Basic. Uh, file browser, miscellaneous. Uh, JPEG viewer, of course, is uh, with this. You can actually, let's see. A mass, uh, I think DVD. Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, art is over here. Art, and in here you will be able to see all the cover arts for the ps2 and uh, let's see what's uh, this for example view this is the spider-man uh, they don't have many full screen mode interesting what the heck okay up uh, let's see what's lng i don't even know myself VMC, I thought it was the saves, but it's not the saves. Host, uh, I'm it. Okay. Uh, how do I, okay, select, exit. Uh, miscellaneous, JPEG, configure, what's configure actually? Misc, file browser. Oh, this is interesting. So you can do circle for file browser. Uh, triangle for about, oh yeah, this is the keys. Okay, we're gonna do Browse. Okay, this we're gonna do. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's not mess this up. Configure. Okay, that was not good. Uh, clear this. Are you serious right now? Configure. Okay, how do I do the default settings? Uh, clearly, we need to restart the freaking system now because the thing is messed up. Uh, so we're gonna. Actually, I can't even go back to the. I need to actually restart the thing. Uh, okay, restart. And now we're going to. We are going to free my boot. Uh, I mean, I could do it, but uh, I could do it the other way, restart the system another way, but uh, actually, that's enough of the launch elf. Uh, Actually, there's not much else I can show you, so let's go back. Oh, have some digestive problems nowadays, uh, which I didn't have for a long time. Anyway, you don't need to know that. Sorry. Load CNF. I don't even know what this is. Our browser miscellaneous. Set CNF path. Uh, no, let's go back. Let's go. What the heck? Can you let me back? Mass. Do I 
really need to restart the thing again. Cancel. There we go. Miscellaneous uh, load him. Show phone. Wow. This is some interesting stuff. Oh yeah, I think I've already seen this actually. Uh, or one menu. There we go. Yeah, it's interesting. There's uh, probably more stuff than uh, the format. ASCII and uh, Unicode and stuff. Debug info. That is interesting. I've never seen this before. Boot is the system itself. Okay. Interesting. Uh, show phone debug. MOGLE. That's just the original, I think. File stuff. Miscellaneous. And of course, if you go to OSD SYS, you actually go to the system itself. So there we go. We're gonna go back and uh, one last thing I'm gonna show you is actually, let's see. Uh, I could show you this uh, if you really wanna see it, but uh, let's do that later. Prima Boot Configurator. Select the buttons layout, let's do cross. I, I would actually do cross for OK and triangle for back. It's just something that PlayStation used to have, but doesn't anymore. Load CNN approach mask, AG0, okay, slot 1, slot 2, uh, USB uh, slot, hard disk drive, uh, and I don't know what this is, but configure OSD SYS options is all the stuff like uh, launch ELF, ESR. I don't know why I can't, uh, there's no ELF file for this, I think, but it's there. I don't really know how to activate it. Open PS2 loader, of course, simple media system. This is interesting, uh, and it doesn't show in the buttons, but it's actually, uh, the, I think it's the player, like for the music and the movies. Launch disk, of course, graphical synthesizer, synthesizer modes, refresh menu screen, and there is like a hundred of them. Let's just go quickly over it. And then you have uh, for 97 premium boot configurator, restart system, shutdown system. Uh, scroll settings, here you can do things like, uh, oh, you can actually oh, uh, just turn scroll menu off, anyway. Display items, how many s things are displayed. You can have 100 things, it's freaking insane. I don't even know how, how that could fit on the memory card, even though I ha I'm using a 64 megabyte Magic Gate one. Uh, okay, video mode, auto. It's interesting how you can even do this here. Skip MC update check, skip G update check, of course. Skip disk boot off, skip Sony logo off. Go to browser. Uh, of course, automatic, yes. Uh, automatic is the best, I think. You can do colors, uh, which I've done. Oh, what did I just do? Anyway. Uh, okay, I hope I did the right thing. And pad I did it by accident as well. Subtract. Subtract, come on. Okay, we need to restart it again. Because I can't afford to make a mistake. Uh, actually, it doesn't save until you uh, make it so it doesn't just save as you go on you need to physically actually i mean it doesn't do it without their permission that's the best thing about it anyway enough with the prima boot we were done there anyway graphical synthesizer modes uh, gsm is uh just uh you can do graphical synthesizer mode selector uh, and there's a version the offers then you have circle for SDTV B modes uh, square for HGTV B modes triangle for VGA modes and uh, square for PS1 SDTV B modes I think S stands for uh, standard H stands for high uh, definition T TV VJ video something I don't really know. Um, D pad you can do things like uh, the offset. You can put it up or you can put it in directions. 
elements give video finites uh, exit method is select we're gonna do that start is exit actually we're just gonna do exit. skip video fix video fix on or off interesting start exit this is what you want uh, how about I yes there we go yeah. okay don't even yes exit come on how do I go back exit please oh okay the last time we're gonna restart the system I just don't know some of the methods on I don't know everything but uh, I've learned a lot quick I have only been using it for a month so of course I'm not as advanced as some of the other <laughs> creators and developers who actually put the work into all this stuff anyway OPL I'm not sure what this video is going to be called probably soft modded uh, PS2 uh, memory card or I mean soft modded PS2 FAT plus CRT TV and games or something um, anyway uh, some of the games I don't think I Oh, I did show you. Anyway, let's play. I'm not sure if I did or if I didn't. I'm pretty confused anyway. Let's go to the... Oh, did freeze. Alright, uh, you can see at least the cover art uh, blank, the blank one. Uh, one last time, for real now, I'm gonna restart the system because sometimes you can uh, uh, lose memory and, and it can actually crash the... PS2 from the memory card, I think the memory card can actually crash the PS2 or the RAM or ROM or whatever it's called. Uh, so, uh, open PS2 over. Uh, sometimes it actually freezes when I go to a certain button. It not only happens in open PS2 loader, it doesn't happen anywhere else. Uh, but we are actually going to go to the I hope it's gonna this oh I didn't save it so that's why I didn't yeah let's do that now let's do settings we need to save it first and let's do PS1 games I know I didn't save and save changes yes well done okay oh well it almost froze what should we play Something that uh, let's just do Spider One, a classic, a freaking classic. You know it, I know it, <laughs> we know it. It's amazing. Wow, the feels, the freaking feels from the original system. No more emulators, no more monitors. We are using CRT TVs as well as old recording methods. And here is some nostalgia. Uh, should I put it louder? Uh, I think I'm a little bit. Actually, it'll be uh, loud, I think, the game. Anyway, Spyro. I went to be loud in the video. English, uh, my language is not going to be here. Start game. I don't think uh, I have any. Actually, let's mm, let's just use one. Uh, create file. Yes. I'm gonna delete the. Or I I think I, I wish I could uh, restart the files, copy it somewhere else and then paste it back, but then how they empty the actual uh, memory cards, I think just deleting them and then uh, do it, put it on the PC and uh, from OPL just somehow uh, actually just delete the memory cards and then it will actually recreate itself from the console straight from there, so maybe I don't even need to use the PC, it just does it straight from the console. Anyway, we know this. Uh, can I skip it? I can. We have heard it many times before. No need for a 
the repetitiveness. And okay. And finally we're playing. How welcoming. Dragons, I like how in this game they're actually, oh yeah, you can actually save for more positions in this game. There's things in this game that there's not in a Spyro 2 or 3. Also with the, can I use the, oh, I forgot, I can't use the, I can only use the D-pad, I see. Uh, oh, I can use the. Hmm. I, I prefer to use the the other one, the stick, but I can't change the camera. Okay, let's see if I can. Oh, I need to use the, of course, uh, L2 and R2 buttons. The, you get it. <laughs> uh, not just yet. Uh, okay. All right. We are going to have some fun. to get all of them by standing in the middle or maybe they would uh, happen to okay uh, I don't want to hurt you that's uh, number one I can hurt uh, creatures in other games but not in spiral uh, I'm joking I, I, I can't okay let's just go over here. I haven't played this in absolute ages, so it feels great. Uh, I kind of uh, stopped playing the emulators and then decided to just. Well, wait, wait, that movement is weird. What is this movement? That is. It's like I've I'm, I've like edited the memory with cheat engine or something, except it's on a real console. Uh, that actually exists, by the way. You can do that on a real console. Oh, this this is weird. I'm just gonna use the normal uh, directional D-pad uh, and not the you know what the freaking stick. I forgot what it's called. Uh, oh hell, heck yeah, Dark Hollow. This might be the thumbnail. Okay, that was that was perfect. Okay, there we go. Actually, it's weird how uh, the same thing happens uh, for not only the stick, but uh, I haven't even used the stick, and it's still okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I like the rolling. Okay, there we go. We're doing it. Wait, can I not? Why can I not use triangle here? Uh, I'm getting tired of. Uh, oh, I need to. I know what I need to do. Okay, come on. Why can he not jump? Never mind. Never freaking mind. I don't think I've ever been in this part of the map even. I've never actually finished Spider One. I've, I almost finished Spider Three. Uh, I always play the demo version. Believe it or not, I've not finished a lot of games, especially a hundred percent. It's an interesting bit. Oh, <laughs> imagine if you could no clip and just get through the thing. No clipping and being able to get through objects would be absolute pleasure being able to change the XYZ positioning uh, and uh, the rotation as well everything is possible with the uh, cheat engine and uh, of course uh, memory editing you can do uh, what you can't even do with programming itself because you're directly uh, 
uh, influence in the game and don't have to use the actual code. Uh, I don't get how it works, but it's genius. I think it's to do with assembly. Uh, that uh, program, low level program, and it's more to do with the hardware than with the software. That's how uh, that's how it works. I'm pretty sure, but it's very advanced. But uh, I like to think that way. Much easier than understanding uh, the uh, high level stuff. It doesn't actually make sense to me. The hardware makes a lot more sense, but. Uh, I am one of the few that uh, has the potential <laughs> that uh, doesn't use it. That's the whole issue here. Anyway, uh, as soon as we uh, save here, I'm going to end the video because it's uh, half an hour long. So we're going to save and thank you for watching. And I'm um, probably not going to talk in the next video because it's kind of pointless. Uh, but uh, we're actually going to get this guy before we... <laughs> okay, don't even... <laughs> Do I need to use fire to get completely... Well, maybe the third time will work. Oh, it did. Alright. Uh, we're just going to get the gems. And I thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day as always. Marcos is out. Peace, take care, and good bye. Thank you.